Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be dodging and burning but doing it this time on darker skin tones. Now I have had quite a few requests for this video, uh, actually quite a lot of requests. And I know that people have been asking for a while for this tutorial, so I thought I'd finally do one for you guys and just show you the differences between dodging and burning on a paler skin tone as opposed to dodging and burning on a darker skin tone. So this is a retouching tutorial and there are a few differences that you do need to be aware of. There are a few important ones and there's actually quite a few mistakes that I see popping up I think with people retouching darker skin tones in particular. And the point of this video is to really retain that quality and still keeping intact that beautiful dark skin tone. So as you guys know, I've put out another dodge and burn tutorial. I'm going to link that in the description box below. And that was my original one that I did, I think sometime last month or the month before. If you're not sure how to dodge and burn, that one really does go over it in the beginning of the video and just the basics of dodging and burning. I am going to do the basics once again here, but I'm not going to go too in depth because like I said, I've already got another tutorial out there that pretty much does that. So we're going to get straight into it. So the first thing I do when I'm dodging and burning, I tend to zoom in a little bit for a photo like this where it's not super close up we're going to stay a little bit further back because I don't want to make the skin texture too soft and I've spoken about this before in some of my dodging and burning tutorials zooming in too close can cause the skin texture uh, for you to edit it too soft and it will start to look a bit waxy so we don't want that to happen so first off we're going to drag the background layer into the new layer box and create a background copy this is going to be for the healing tools uh, mainly that we're going to use on this particular layer. Then I'm going to create a curves layer, a curves adjustment just under this drop down. Click on curves and the first one is going to be the dodging layer. So we're going to bring the line up till it's kind of really bright, probably about there. And hold down control and I to invert on the computer. So I'm going to name that one dodge so it's not going to confuse you guys and then we'll do the same thing again so another curves layer this time moving the line down to make it quite dark and control and i again on the keyboard to invert so i'll rename that to burn and I just want to quickly talk about dodge and burn as a retouching tool for darker skin tones. So it's pretty common knowledge that with lighter skin tones, dodging is usually the prominent tool over burning. Uh, this is because it is a lighter skin tone that you're working with. So you want to make sure you're distributing that evenness with the skin texture by using primarily the dodge tool. It's going to keep the skin a bit on the lighter side, which is basically what you want for that. With retouching on a darker skin tone, you want to be using primarily, I would say, the burn tool. Because it's a darker skin tone, you want to keep that intact. You don't want to be using the dodge tool, and I see this all too often, a lot, even in a lot of magazines and publications, where the retoucher has used the dodge tool far too much and has eventually lightened the model skin tone overall, which is definitely what we don't want. We want to keep the darker skin tone intact, so we're going to start off with burning a little bit more so than dodging. So. First off though, I want to make sure that we go to the background copy layer and we start getting rid of any little blemishes or any lines or hairs that we don't want on the face. So usually I do this by using the spot healing brush tool over here and making that a little bit smaller, probably at around 45 for this photo. And then I'm going to run it over some of the lines on Ayana's face. And it does have really good skin though, so there's not too much that we're going to have to do here. Just running it over some of the textured bumps and blemishes. And any little fallout from the makeup, we'll just get that as well. I'm usually not too perfect with this at the start. Uh, usually I will get more into dodging and burning and then do more of this afterwards, but I do like to do the majority and the uh, larger areas first off. So I'll just continue doing that. So I think particularly you have to be a little bit more careful with the dodge tool uh, in situations like this. So I'm going to zoom out and show you guys the lighting that this particular image has. And it's quite a harsh light, it's quite a full light, so it's really lighting Ayana's face and her body quite a bit. 
and it's not more of a moodier photograph where there is a little bit more darkness in the shot and it's showing off her skin tone a little bit more. This has actually lightened up her skin tone quite a bit already so we really don't want to be using the dodge tool even more to lighten that up we really want to be using the burn tool to help keep her skin tone color intact and give it that little bit more depth as well so i'm going to start off with the dodging and burning and i'm going to be using the burn tool for mostly the first part of this tutorial so we need to make sure that white is selected as the color for the mask and we're going to get our paintbrush move the sizing down a little bit maybe to around 36 pixels. And then we're going to make sure the flow is at 1% because we want this to be quite soft in terms of the effect. And now we're going to just shade in those lighter areas of textured parts of Ayana's skin. So just here and filling in those gaps. We're going to just start from her cheekbone and go inwards. So you can change the brush size a little bit, make it a little bit larger if you want to go over a bit more area in the burning process. And then make it a bit smaller to fill in those gaps again. Okay, so this is where I would start to use the dodge tool, just on any really dark little spots here. And you can fill them in a little bit with the dodge tool. Since we've gone around with the burn tool in the first place, we can then fill in those little spots just to lighten them up a little bit. I would also start to use the dodge tool just in the lighter areas, of course, in the highlights. And just even out that part of the skin tone. And going back to the burn tool now, just to darken some parts that look to be a little bit too bright or a little bit uneven. So I'm just filling in those darker spots once again on Ayana's skin tone. Once I've gone around them with the burn tool, I'm just using the dodge tool to lighten those little spots up a bit. So I'm also going to zoom these parts up a little bit so you guys can still see what I'm doing but you're not going to be waiting here for three hours watching me retouch every pore or anything like that and you guys can just see the overall uh, view of how I'm doing everything with Dodge and Burn.
Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the background copy layer again and just remove some of the little bumps that I didn't get rid of before. And the little lines as well. And then I'm just going to get the dodge tool and go over those highlighted areas where the healing tool has gone a little bit funny. And going with the burn tool to just get any of those spots that look a bit too light or highlighted. So this is how it's looking so far. I'm going to get the burn tool now and make it a little bit bigger. And then I would go over just any spots that look a little bit patchy in terms of lightness. Just darken them a little bit. We just want to get that depth back in the skin tone as well. Like I said, this lighting setup, and it's probably something that you will have to watch out for for a lot of lighting setups, is just where the skin is getting lightened too much, and you really don't want that. You want the skin to really retain that darker color and getting that depth back as well. So I'm just going over Ayana's cheekbones and giving them a little bit more contrast and a little bit more depth in this particular image. And just going back to the burn tool once again and just going into the cheekbone to give it that little bit more depth and down the neck a bit as well then I'd usually go to the dodge tool and get the brush back and then I'd go a little bit harder, so about 70% with the brush and then upping the flow a little bit to around 10%. Doesn't have to be super accurate. But then I would just go over those really sharp highlights. Just with a harder brush to make them pop a little bit more. You can make the brush a little bit bigger if it helps. Okay, so I want to give you guys a bit of a before and after and just show you a couple of extra tricks that I like to do if I feel like the skin has gone a bit too far with the retouching. So I'm going to just take a snapshot and we're going to go back to the original image. So that is the original image and that is what it looks like now. And as you can see, we haven't lightened the skin tone. We've really kept the same tone intact and given a little bit more definition in the cheekbones just due to the lighting situation it did kind of blow out that area with the light a little bit more so we've kind of brought that back a little bit. Now what we want to do is make sure that we haven't gone too far so I do feel like there's areas here that might have gone a little bit far with the dodging and burning so I'd probably just have a look at the burn layer and then potentially just bring down the opacity a little bit usually just around maybe to about 80% just so we get that little bit of texture showing through again because that's what we want. We also want to retain the texture in the skin. So now I'm going to zoom in for you guys and you can see a before and after too. So obviously we want to keep this texture especially over the highlights because that is the highlighted area and you will see that very prominently. So I'm going to take another snapshot now, go back to the original and go back 
to the new snapshot. So that's how I would usually retouch darker skin tones. I also would do the same thing in my other tutorial. I think I mentioned about uh, creating a new layer just down here and then getting the brush tool, making it a soft brush and then a flow of around 1%. So making it maybe a little bit bigger. And then if there's too much texture on the model skin, I would eyedropper by holding down Alt on the keyboard and I drop an area and then begin to paint over that area very softly to really remove some of the texture. I'm gonna to undo to that though because I feel like the texture on Ayana's skin right now is really great and I do wanna keep that, I don't wanna remove it, but that is an option if you're finding that the texture is too much on a model skin tone and you wanna reduce that just a little bit. So I'm gonna zoom out again and show you guys another before and after. So the before and after looks like, so this is the before and that is the after. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it did help you out with retouching darker skin tones. I do find that the main difference is making sure that you are sticking to using the burn tool over the dodge tool because like I said with the dodge tool you will tend to lighten the skin tone and that's not what you want to do. You want to retain that darker color of the skin tone. So the best way to do that is by using the burn tool more so and still using the dodge tool for those highlighted areas. So I hope this has really helped you guys and if you do have any more requests for retouching tutorials please let me know in the comments section below. I've also considered doing a tutorial on color grading for darker skin tones too so if you guys are interested in that please let me know in the comments section below and if there's any other retouching tutorials you'd like to see for darker skin tones too please let me know as well because I'd be happy to add them to my request list. This is just a brief retouching tutorial, particularly with dodge and burn, but I am looking at maybe doing some with frequency separation in the future or potentially even doing just full retouch edits of some of my images from start to finish in different lighting situations for darker and lighter skin tones and just showing you guys an overall view of how I generally retouch in those situations. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.